Hello guys, Delarius or Myel here, and today is going to be a story time of how I almost got into a fight with my babysitter. I know title sounds crazy, but it was almost, thank God. But how this all started off was when I was just a little teeny tiny Myel, just teeny tiny, 2020, yeah, was in the sixth grade. So, yeah, I was in the sixth grade, 2020, and it was switching into online classes. And I was up the night prior playing Fortnite with my cousin because we were just Fortnite heads went back in 2020. Now we don't even touch the game, but off track. But that's how the start. That's how the story or the night before starts off. The morning that I woke up for that was woke up with a massive headache, felt like shit, just like a piece of garbage just laying there. Head was pounding, body hurted. I didn't even know what I did or anything. I just, my body was just hurting. So I was just saying, F the day, I'm just going to sit around, basically just sit around do a little bit of cleaning, and hopefully not even get bothered today because I didn't want to get bothered because I just wanted to relax, take some ibuprofen, and just probably take another nap. But those plans did not go the way I wanted it to go because not even 30 minutes later, I hear my babysitter just screaming, going off on my little sister. And I'm just like, why? Why? It's a baby. It's gonna it's gonna cry. I'm sorry, you didn't get sleep either. But you weren't up all night. And I knew that she wasn't up all night. But it doesn't matter to her. Because she just runs upstairs to see where I'm what I'm doing. And starts complaining to me, saying, oh, look around, it's just a mess, everything's just a mess. Why Why are you doing this? Like, get up, do something, why are you just laying there? I'm like, first off, I feel like shit. Like, hammered shit. I just didn't want to stay there, I didn't want to do nothing. I just wanted to lay down, go to sleep. But she didn't care. So she goes on saying, I don't care if you're tired. I don't care if you're hurting. You got to get up and clean. And I was like, yeah, I was going to clean after a nap. But no. So she just storms out of my room, pissed off, thinking, and I thought I was winning the fight or run, winning the basically argument. And she just walked out with the nail. And then basically, came, and after that, I took a nap. I just took a nap. I was feeling good afterwards. Not as much of a headache, but like still pounding. And all that I was hoping that she would not just get on my nerves. That's the one thing I was hoping. So about 45 minutes goes by. I start hearing her complain and complain. Yelling at my cousin this time. And I was like... Bro, what did my cousin do? He's not even doing anything wrong. He's sit, he's laying in bed, just trying to go to sleep too because Bro's tired, and it's not even nine a.m. So get off of his meat, bro. <laughs> That's what I told her, and she did not like that. She did not like that one bit, and started yelling at me. Saying, oh, you're a fucking fat ass. You don't even do shit. You don't even do shit around here. I don't know. I always clean. I always do everything. And I'm like, first off, first off. No, you don't. You don't even clean or do anything. Yeah, you, cl you clean the uh, kitchen. But the majority of the time, my mom or her mom cleans the kitchen or they make us do it. 
which we do. So you cannot be complaining that you are cleaning and everything while we are doing the same thing. You only clean once or twice. We clean every, every fucking week because we have to. And it was a job for us. So she just gets mad, angry, starts yelling and screaming even more. Just saying that she's fucking done with this. She can't take us anymore. And then she tried to slap me. This is where it starts off. She tried to slap me. So I backed up because I was just not having it. I backed up, tried to go into the living room where I, my gaming system was. And I was just like, man, fuck you. And she just tries to get up in my face again. Get up in my face, get up in my face, just screaming, spitting in my face. And I was just like, bro, what the fuck? Your your breath smells like ass. Get the fuck away from me. I am literally, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm, I was, I'm literally 11. Like, bro, like, back off. And, like, but no, she wanted, she wanted back off. She just wanted. So she kept on just getting in my face, trying to push me, trying to anger me around, and tries to just get blood boiling for me. And I'm like, I'm not even trying to deal with this. So I push her. I shoved her away. And I said, go fuck yourself. Go in your room, you sad old lady. And she just, again, goes angry. And I was like, first off, that that's self-defense. You try to hit me first. I don't care if you got hurt because you literally just got pushed. <laughs> you didn't even fall or nothing. You just got shoved. And you just tried to slap me, so just get the fuck away from me. I don't even want to be fucking bothered with you. So just 30 minutes of her screaming and yelling, saying that I am a fuck up. I didn't even do shit. Like, I don't even help around the house. And I'm just like, I'm just listening to her. Just trying to ignore her, just block her out. And she just yells again. The final time, thank God. She yells a final time and she just goes into her room, grabs my sister, gives my sister to me. And then my mom walks in, she takes my little sister, and I just hop on the game. Well, that's the end of the story time. Thank you guys for all wa listening or watching, and listening and watching, or watching, what, voice, voice. Um, so, thank you all again for watching. Make sure to li like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next time. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.